so many people will think, okay, it's a frog or a toad. Well, no, it's, it's a lizard. It's a fairly small lizard. They're reptiles. They're not amphibians. They call it horny toad because it has horns on the back of its head. People say it's like a lizard and a toad. People get confused with it. <laughs> Definitely a lizard. Uh, do, you, um, do you know the scientific name? No. So, Frinosa, 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 and and that's that's where you found your data, and so you found it in twenty in section two. And it was in the zoom out. Zoom out. We have teamed up with the local area farmers to have them collect horny toad da sighting data for us. So twenty four. East would be right there. The, the data sheets they make us collect information about what time of day we see the horny toads, about uh, like the temperature and how large they are and where they are, what their habitat is, where they are in the field. On a farm field because that's where the horny toads were sighted. And they have charts and different things on the walls here in the classroom, and we go. The kids take us around to each of the different. Uh, charts, and then we have to mark down where we have seen them, what time of day, if it was near a road, and uh, just things about where where the horny toads are at out in the fields. Now you township 25, and then range 23. All right, and that section would be 31. We enter their data sheet onto a computer and use ArcView to put a point where the horny toad was seen. Um, section one, well, here's an opportunity for kids to be really involved in what's going on in society now. So we are really rewriting the life history of the short-term lizard in Washington. Our, it was out in the middle of the day and when the sun was out there. I think it was just out back, like laying in the sun. Yeah, they usually come out in the early in the morning and get warm. And stuff. Yeah. It gives the young people a, a, a chance to get with nature and, and understand some of the little varmints we have running around that are beneficial. The farmers bring a lot of knowledge about the land. They know the land intimately. They're teaching the kids how to use the maps even more so than they already know. They um, take it very seriously and the kids take it very seriously too. We actually teach them to think of themselves as junior scientists. It's like we're a research team that studies up on short horn lizards. I think it's just an interesting thing for the children to, to study. It's very scientific, and they, they learn a lot about it and about the environment. Now you got to go back and put it in that table. Teachers, um, they teach the kids. We're so communicating, and we all should be in there helping because the science changes so fast. So it's not just um, a good feeling or a project for a school, but it truly is helping us do conduct real research. I think the farmers are happy. I think it's cool that they come back to school. Thank you.